The first official sheepdog trial in Britain was held in the late 1800s. Sheepdog competitions were originally held to determine how well the local dogs performed under equal conditions. The various phases of the original trial course were designed to mimic real work. As the years have gone by, sheepdog trials have evolved into keen competitions between the dog and handler teams. However, the original basic design of the International Sheepdog Society trial course was so well thought out that it remains the standard to this day. The most important natural skill in a well-bred working border collie is called the gather. This is basically going out, collecting all the sheep, and bringing them to the person in a more or less direct path. Sometimes even young puppies can be seen exhibiting a form of this inborn skill, as we see here with this 12-week-old puppy in its first time working sheep. The gather can be further broken down into three phases, the first of which is the outrun, where the dog runs out either to the right or left in a curved pattern to get behind the sheep without disturbing them. Once in position to bring the sheep to the person, the dog performs the lift, which is where it makes contact with the sheep and communicates that they are to move forward and in which direction they should go. Lastly, the dog proceeds to bring the sheep to the person in the fetch. In a farm or ranch situation, the gather may vary tremendously in the distance, terrain, and the obstacles encountered, such as streams, woods, and as we see here, fence lines separating fields. Also, the method the dog uses to contact and lift sheep is different depending on the number of sheep and how spread out they are. In the situation where the sheep are spread out, the dog, while still on the outrun, may need to contact and lift each sheep or group of sheep as it goes around and send them in a direction to form a main group, which is then fetched to the person. When the group is more tightly packed, the lift needs to be more direct and forward such as this. Either way, it's the dog's job to assess the sheep and use the correct method to convince them to move forward toward the person. The lift is an important phase of the gather as the dog and sheep size each other up. Here is the lift of a tightly packed group from the perspective of the sheep being turned. And here's a lift from the perspective of the dog persuading them to turn. However the lift is accomplished, the dog must work hard to keep the larger numbers of sheep both together as a group and moving forward toward the person. At a sheepdog trial, just as on the farm, the outrun may start from the right or left side and varies in distance and terrain. In a trial situation, the field tends to be more open and encouraging of the natural shape a good border collie instinctively chooses when running out to get the sheep. At trials, the dogs normally work on a small packet of three to five sheep. Because there are fewer sheep in a trial for each run, the lift is more direct than when gathering many sheep spread out in a field. Sheep in a small group feel more vulnerable and uncertain than in a large group, which can make their behavior less predictable. Also, in order to make the trial situation more equal for each dog and handler team, the sheep are held in the same approximate area for each run using other dogs, people, and sometimes horses. Therefore, the various pressures the dog must read and react to when it takes control of the sheep can be more challenging than on the farm. The fetch in a trial is judged on how efficiently the sheep are brought on a designated path, which is usually straight through a set of gates about halfway to the handler's post, where the handler stands. As you can see here, the sheep have different ideas about where they want to go and the dog and handler must work closely as a team with fine-tuned communication in order to convince the sheep to follow the most direct path. As the sheep near the handler's post, the dog and handler team is expected to bring the sheep around the post as closely and well-controlled as possible. The sheep may not be used to being close to people or dogs, so going neatly around the handler's post can take skill and finesse to accomplish. This turning exercise completes the gather, and while it's not specifically something done in normal farm work, the ability of the dog to hold the sheep in an orderly fashion near the handler is a very valuable tool for many tasks on the farm, such as up close checking and treating sheep using a fence or fence corner. As the sheep go around the handler's post, the trial phase called the drive begins.
on the trial field. This consists of a triangular pattern where the sheep are driven first away from the handler through a set of gates, then parallel to the handler through a second set of gates, before being brought back to the handler for the next phase. Again, good teamwork and skill are needed to guide the sheep on a predetermined direct path with obstacles, such as freestanding gates, that they must be taken through. Driving the sheep in a direction away from the person instead of bringing them to the person is considered a more advanced skill. It is a skill that must be developed and taught in most border collies, since it's not as instinctive as the gather. Unless a dog is accustomed to a particular job, it has no way of knowing on its own where it's supposed to take the sheep when driving, so it must learn to understand and follow the person's spoken or whistled directions. This more advanced skill has many uses in some farming setups where driving can be as important or more important than gathering. Situations where driving is helpful include moving sheep from one field to another or down a road and at feeding time when sheep need to be driven away so as not to crowd the person setting out the feed. In most sheep operations, there are many situations where sheep need to be contained in smaller areas such as pens. In this situation, sheep are taken to a smaller holding area where they can be wormed and vaccinated. Because they're in a large group and used to this holding pen, they go in fairly easily. However, in some situations, sheep need to be coaxed into smaller areas, such as loading into this small trailer for transport. At first, they will usually try their best to outsmart and outmaneuver the person and dog. In order to be handled for many standard procedures on the farm, the sheep must learn to accept being put into a small space. Trials test the penning skills of the dog and handler team in a most difficult situation a freestanding pen where the sheep can keep circling the pen unless the dog is in exactly the right position to prevent them. In the more challenging trials, the fresh sheep from large flocks may never have been in a small pen before and don't naturally want to be in such a confined space. The dog and handler must work together with great skill to convince the sheep that they will be safe going into the pen under these difficult conditions. Sheep on the farm can be sorted in any number of ways depending upon available equipment and situations. Out in the field, a person and dog can act somewhat as a gate and sort sheep by letting some go while holding the desired sheep. In very open areas, far from any handling equipment, this is an efficient and common way to use a dog. Even with optimal handling equipment, it's sometimes less stressful on the sheep to shed and hold them in the open, such as here where ewes and newborn lambs are shed and held from the others while the lambs are caught to have their tails banded. They could also be treated or ear tagged using this method at the same time. Sheep naturally want to stay together. It takes quite a bit of skill and experience from both the dog and handler to separate sheep and hold them from the others, especially when the group is smaller. In normal trials, the shed requires either one or two sheep to be separated from the others, unheld until it's determined the dog has control of the shed sheep. In most trial situations, it's considered optimal for the dog to come into a space and hold the last sheep in the group because it tests the dog's courage to confront a determined sheep head on sometimes mimicking a farm situation where specific sheep need to be separated from the others a trial shed will include marked sheep that must be let go or shed and held as required people in the big cities might find it hard to imagine but there are still many rural areas in the united states where large numbers of livestock are raised figures for january 2011 showed over 5.5 million sheep in the u.s 
Many areas where sheep are raised are not accessible to four-wheelers or even horses, but they are accessible to dogs. As long as people continue to demand meat and other products from livestock, there will be an important role for herding dogs to help manage them. And even though some would call the modern sheepdog trial a sport, it still has a purpose in helping to define high standards for training dogs for real work situations.